Hey team, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? <laughs> Welcome to Fit in 5, your high intensity 10 minute home workout. Five exercises, 60 seconds each. We're gonna do it for two rounds, so it's 10 minutes. But you can do five rounds on your own. Make it five, Fit in 5. All right, you don't need a luggage, but if you want more challenge, guess what guys? Bring the luggage, fill it up with stuff. Wine bottles, water bottles, books, hi. Hey guys, welcome. So you can make your workout a lot harder with this bag. Make sure you have towels or coats wrapped around the books or the bottles so they don't shake around when you move. All right, so we're gonna go through the moves together. First five exercises. We're gonna go through it a little bit slower the first round so you can warm up and get the form right. And then the second part, we're gonna go hard into it, okay? All right, make sure you have a pillow. I put in story that you need a pillow, so grab a pillow. If you don't use it, that's okay. Everything can be done without anything, all right? These are all just bonus, okay? So pillow for pillow pass, let's get started. Here we go. First exercise is your hop over with burpees. So you're gonna put your luggage right here. If you don't have it, just pretend you have one. And we're gonna hop over. Now if you can't hop like that with both feet off the floor, you're gonna do it with one leg at a time. That's okay too, okay? So we're gonna do three. This is part of your 60 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three. Put your hands, one on this luggage, one on the floor, down for push-up. Okay? One, two, three. Same idea. One hand on the luggage, one hand on the floor. Push-up. Now you can do your push-up on your knees. One, two, three. Push-up on your knees. You can do that, right? So I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can kind of see me. <laughs> Up, so you can hop over if you want. Instead of jump, that's okay too. Push up, here we go. One, two, three, back, push up. There you go. That was your first move, okay? Now, your second move is gonna be a pillow pass. You grab the pillow. You're gonna hold it up, flex forward, legs up, put it between your legs. That's one. 60 seconds worth. Starting right now. Up. Make sure you guys are reaching to put the pillow between your legs. Don't just pass it over like this, because then you won't get much of a workout. You wanna really feel yourself flexing and reaching. Reaching. And if this is hard, you can just keep your knees bent. That's okay too. You can bend your knees like this. Just make sure you're flexing forward. That's the most important part, okay? Up. Pillow pass. If you don't have a pillow, just pass. Just pretend to pass. Just pretend you have a pillow, okay? So you guys can modify. All right, up you go. Squeeze and grab. Up. All right, and time. Okay, that was your pillow pass. And then going back to skater. The third move is four skaters. You're gonna hold the <laughs> luggage. You can actually not hold the luggage. You can actually hold the pillow. Three, four skaters. You're gonna hop over skater. And then you're gonna go into jack lunges. Jack lunges. So jack lunge, swing under and up. Jack, other side. This is harder if you jump. You do four jumps. This bag can be super heavy. If it's got too much in the skaters, four, three, two, one. Follow by lunge, swing, up. Now you don't have to jump. You can just walk back, come up, swing. So you can walk it. Or you can jump it. Two, three, four. So I'm gonna jump mine. Three and four. Oh my god, my arms. And your fourth exercise, yeah, that was your third exercise. Put your luggage away. Your fourth one, actually, you don't put your luggage away. You bring your luggage. You're doing a plank drag with your luggage, okay? Again, you can drag your pillow instead. It's easier. Plank. And grab a look and you're gonna push it. Okay, 60 seconds. 
tight plank on your grab it. You're gonna drag that luggage, guys. You're gonna drag it. So the heavier the luggage, the harder the workout. You can also drag your pillow. Just grab the pillow, put it to the right, grab the pillow, put it to the left. You can still do this with a book. You can grab a bottle, a wine bottle, anything. Or you can drag a luggage. This is a lot harder. Especially if your luggage is heavy. Okay? And three, two, time. So you can drag anything, like a little shopping bag of stuff, or a handbag of stuff, or a mini, mini luggage. Really, anything will do. Drag your child. Oh my gosh, it's snowing. You guys know it's snowing? <laughs> it's beautiful though. All right, make sure you stay hydrated. Your last exercise, your fifth exercise is diagonal wood chop. So again, you grab this, or you can grab your pillow, all right? And you're gonna go into diagonal. All right, it's down. And wood chop across the body, one. 30 seconds, starting right now. Abs are tight. Make sure you go across the body, guys. Don't go and swing it from down here, okay? We want to cross the body. Cross the body. If this gets heavy, we can lighten the load. Take the stuff out of the luggage. Oh, keep your abs tight. Three, two, and switch. Keep your abs super tight because you're doing twisty motions, right? Especially to protect your back. Get down low, up. 30 seconds right now. Down, up. Again, across the body, guys. Abs are tight. Abs super tight. Get down nice and low. Don't bend your back. Okay, I want you to squat, touch, and wood chop, side wood chop. Again, you can use a pillow. If that gets heavy, just use a pillow. Okay, it's just as hard. And time. Okay, guys, that was your warm up round. <laughs> that was your first round. 60 seconds each move, that was five minutes. You have another five minutes left with me, and it's going to be high intensity. Okay, so do what you can. Move as fast as you can. Take as many breaks as you like. Hey guys, you better be moving. You better be working. Don't just be watching. Maybe you can do it later, but do it now too so you can practice good form while I'm here showing you. And then you can practice later on your own, right? All right, I guess ready for the intense round? Here we go. It's 10 minute home workout for, it's 10 minutes for a reason, okay? It's intense, so you don't need a long, intense workout. You need a short, quick, smart, intense workout, and that's gonna just burn that calorie, lean you down, and you're consistent. Ready, guys? We're gonna go hard. First move, get ready. Put it down, chop over, guys. Three, two, go. One, two, Three, back, push up, up. Go at your own pace, guys. You can hop over, okay? Make sure you pull your knees up. Okay, so three, hop over, so you always end up on the other side of the bag. Two, three. And you can do your push up on your knees, right? Back on your knees, okay? Modify, two, three. Make sure you pull those knees up in front of you so now it's tight, okay? Other side. Again, if this is hard, you can just go down and you don't have to do a push-up either, okay? It's up to you. You can modify like this, okay? And jump back, maybe do mountain climbers instead, right? Play around, three, two, and time. That was your first exercise. Second exercise, let's put this away. Grab your pillow, pillow pass. Here we go. Three, two, go. Flex forward, put it between your legs. Make sure you guys are working for this. Really, make sure you're flexing your upper arm. So you gotta bring your shoulders and head off the floor.
again, to make it easy, you can keep your knees bent. You can do that. And bend your knees. Okay? And then straighten your legs out to reach. Or you can keep it straight. That's a lot harder. That's a lot harder. Okay? And again, if you don't have a pillow, no pillow. Just pretend you're passing a pillow. Okay? Oh, my abs are burning. You guys better be burning too. If it's burning, it's working. Okay? Make sure your abs are tight so you protect your back. Oh, if you can't tighten those abs and your back might be hurting a little bit, then take a break. All right, get ready to finish it off for five, four, three, two, and time. That was the pillow pass. Put the pillow away, guys. Get some water. Oh, you might need it again. You might need it for the next exercise. Okay. Skaters and jack lunges. There we go. Get ready. We're going to go side to side four times. Three, two, go. Four, three, two, one. I'm going to do a jump. Down. Up. i got to get a good grip on this luggage. i got to get the luggage on its wheels. See, I have to get the luggage on its wheels. Because if not, it's going to flip, fall right out of my hands. Skater, one, two, three, four. You can practice these moves, guys, later. Up, down, swing over and up. Again, you don't have to, you don't have to jump into a lunge. You can just walk, okay? Modify, two, three, four. So you can just modify, straight up, come down, straight up, come down. Or you can jump, okay, three, you can jump. Four skaters finish it off. Three, two, and time. Oh, this bag is heavy. Again, the fourth exercise, you can use a pillow or you can use a luggage. Okay? You're going to drag. High plank. See this high plank? Okay, three, two, and go. Push. Push. Again, if that's hard, Pillow pass instead. Okay, grab the pillow, put it down. Grab and switch sides. <sighs> Breathing. If you need to take a break, take a break. Make sure you keep those abs super tight. I want to continue pulling or dragging my luggage, so I'm going to do this. <sighs> Finish up strong. Let's go drag it over. <sighs> Hold this over. Okay, there's a handle here, so I can pull the handle that I want. But then there's no handle on the other side. So I'm gonna go and work a little harder. So I might as well just do it the same way, both ways, so I can even out my strength, right? No favoring one or the other. Here we go, finish it off. Three, two, and time. Oh, that was 60 seconds, right? <laughs> Don't like it. Don't like it. Get some water, you guys have one more exercise, and I want you to go hard and strong on this last one. Finish off with a finish off with a bag, okay guys? Again you can use your pillow or you can use your bag or your luggage. There we go. 30 seconds each side. Each side. Three, two, go. Down and across. Keep those abs tight. Chop wood. Two. 30 seconds. This bag is getting so heavy. This luggage I feel like I'm just gonna take everything out of it. Uh, Inhale, exhale. Make sure it's diagonal, guys. Diagonal. Finish off at the side of three, two, and time. On the other side. Here we go. Three, two, and go. One. Keep your abs tight, especially when you're chopping. Like when you're going right across, you need to be able to stop right here. Right there. You need to be able to stop so you don't swing all the way back here, okay? We want to keep those abs super, super tight. Finish it off nice and strong. Finish off. Five, four. No, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. One. That was it. Nice work. Nice work if you were doing it. I can see you. <laughs> Good job, guys. I hope you had fun. 
And that was your 10 minute high intensity home workout. We did two rounds together. You can do another three, so that's five. Five for fit and five. Totally up to you. But I'm just gonna do two, okay? And I'm also gonna stretch. So you guys can join me for the live stretch right after this. Never use the body and abuse it. You want to thank it, nurture it, love it, so it can perform for you for the long haul, okay? So thank you for joining me. Get hydrated, stretch, join me for the live after this for stretching. And until next time, guys, I'll leave you with the same message. Don't downgrade your dreams or wishes, upgrade your mindset, all right? Thanks for joining me. See you next week.